As part of a fraud investigation, investigators may want to look at transactions that have taken place on a given account or by an individual. Here we're going to take a look at the transactions that have taken place for our suspect Jeffrey Dim. He's believed to be involved in structuring or smurfing activity. These transactions have taken place uh, from different locations, different ATMs, and at different times. In order to properly visualize this information so we can understand the activities, we're going to send this data across to GeoTime. The data is now loaded into GeoTime, and we can see these different transactions from a geographical standpoint. Using GeoTime's 3D Time Viewer, we can now take a look at these transactions over time. The beginning of our data set occurs at the beginning of October. Here you can see October 4th is listed, and we have a few financial uh, transactions that have taken place. The end of our data set is closer down to the map here. It ends around November 15th. Let's take a look at some of the transactions and where they have occurred. Here we can see a number of cash deposits that have occurred on the week of September 30th to October 7th. The first one occurs up here at the top of our data set. Here we can see that there were $400 deposited to his Bank of America account. A few days later, we can see that there are three individual transactions that have taken place. Each one of these transactions is under $2,000. Here's one for $1,000, second one for $1,000, and the third one for $1,900. All of them going back to his Bank of America account. If we take a look at the rest of our data set, we can see a very clear pattern. Approximately every week and a half to two weeks, our suspect makes several cash deposits from multiple ATMs at different locations. We can see that all of these deposits are under $2,000 to avoid detection. The total amount deposited over a period of a month and a half is almost $27,000 into his Bank of America account. We can now use this information to provide investigators with a clear understanding of the structuring behavior.